quarter. Um, was that encouraging? Yeah, I mean, it, listen, it's, it's, it's all a process. Yes, everybody wants us as much as we do. We want to win every game. Everybody think we should win every game. Blah blah blah. But in reality, play Phoenix. You know they star lineup last year probably the most minutes I think they they, they tied together mm -hmm. as a team. Uh, before that, a team that was together, Golden State. That's been you know we figured it out. Um, and once we do, um, as you've seen for Spurs, it's very beneficial to us, and there's really nothing nobody else can do. Um, and for us, we just make sure we are constantly communicating on the things we need to do to get better as a team, um, figure out how we can defend um, the way we, we know how to, um, understanding the new defense for a lot of guys, including myself, um, and figuring out the way to be able to communicate. And a lot of those are just miscues on us. Um, we got to make sure we execute them. I think some of your teammates talked about last night was just the frustration level and when you guys do something like I think as a team you miss twelve layups. Yeah. Is that, I miss is that eight. Type of stuff that can just build and, and you know, because Yeah, team. man, you know, you can't. Some you know, whether they should be fouls or not, whatever. You know, that's you know, neither here nor there. Um, but missing layups myself, A D Brown, things that we normally would make. Um, that's part of the game, part of rhythm getting back to doing what we are accustomed to doing. Um, and I'm okay with adversity. Honestly, I never never panic, honestly, throughout the season. Especially at the start of the season, there's really no need to. <laughs> the season's too long, and you know, when nobody's winning nothing right now, yes, it's good to get off on a good start and feel good about yourself. But um, especially me personally, I like to make sure that I'm, as the season goes along, I'm constantly just getting better and better and better and as the season prolongs. Um, and making sure that my team and the teammates are getting better as well. We all get comfortable with each other. We've seen players get into heated arguments before on the court. It happens. Yeah. It doesn't always escalate to what it escalated to last night. Is that something that had to be addressed um, beyond yesterday? Was it talked about at all today? And not at all. No, it's not talked about. It's over with. We we'll move on to the next game. Alice Lee, what on Zoom? Hey, Rush, just out of, out of curiosity, some of the stuff you were talking about in the film session today, is there something consistent in these first two games that are specific that you guys want to work on, or is there a number of things that it's it's not one thing specific? Well, I mean, there's things that we know we can get better at, um, both offensively and defensively. But, um, like I said, we're all figuring each other out. Guys are figuring out how to run with me and play a little faster. I'm figuring out how to do other things. and moving off the ball and doing things that, you know, kind of got to figure it out. Like, we're all adjusting um, to one another, and that's a process. It won't, it's not going to happen within the first week of the season. We understand that, and at least I do. Um, and I'm okay with the struggle and figuring it out um, and making sure that we are putting ourselves in position to do the right things uh, so that ultimately at the end of the year we can be playing our best basketball. You guys went on that run in the fourth with a centerless lineup that started out. I guess Melo or LeBron was the center. What, what worked with that group? Um, I don't know. We just played a little faster. Um, even when they do at the five, put teams in the bat in the bind um, because we got shooting and we got attackers on the floor. Um, be able to kind of do whatever it is that we need to do, um, which is up to us making the right play. It's uh, the last question. Um, Feels like every time Austin Reeves has had a certain name called this this year, he's performed. Um, have you been surprised at anything or how quickly he's looked comfortable for an undrafted player? Not at all. Uh, he's very mature. He understands how to play the game. And I just said, I think when you play hard, good things happen. Um, and I'm real kind of testament to like what I what I stand on is like miss and make shots, turnovers, all that stuff is a part of the game. But when you play hard, good things eventually will happen for you. And for him, when he, when he checks in, he plays hard defensively, offensively, and not just that, he understands how to play basketball. Um, and he's mature enough to understand, and he's done a hell of a job every time he's you know checked in. So really great to see that, especially from him.